Colossians says, Colossians says, Verse 1. Actually, let's go to Titus 2. Uh, Titus 2. Verse 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 must train up the younger women. To love their husbands. And their children. Another translation. Says love your own husband. That means. You love your husband above your pastor. You love your husband above your children. You love your husband above your friends. And you love your husband above his money. Now, Verse four. Verse four. Sometimes the children come above the husbands. Sometimes the children come before the wives. The children must come under. Mm-hmm. Hey. Verse 5. 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 Verse Man wanted a bride. The fathers of the groom and the bride would come together to the marriage supper. Now, the marriage supper was the feast of the Lord. Now, the feast of the Lord was the feast of the Lord. Now, the feast of the Lord was the feast of the Lord. Now, the feast of the Lord was the feast of the Lord. Now, the feast of the Lord was the the to bless the pending marriage. And after all of the sacrifices burned, the fathers themselves will walk between the 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 the, the, the ashes. What they were declaring to God. And declaring to all the community. Is that this marriage will be a marriage of God? Yes. And if it is not, I will be the next sacrifice here. Fathers, mothers, would you do that for your children? The thing is, they love God so much. They that they will pour into their sons and daughters. Training and teaching them how to love God first. And their mates second. Now, they will go to pour into them. And they will pour into them. To teach them how to raise up the next holy generation of them. Now we leave it to the world. We leave it to friends. But we need to step up. And we need to think about what we are doing. We need to be standing forward for God. See, when we look at 1 Corinthians. Chapter 7. Um, verse 7. Remember, I said everything is going to be actually in this chapter. Uh, there are so many scriptures in the Bible that tells us how to be a godly wife. Verse 7. 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 Verse 
Bible. Na maandishi mengi kwa katika mfuko vingi katika Biblia. Jinsi ya kuwa waume wa kiroho utaua. There are so many the whole Bible. Ah ulikuwa unakuwa wengi sana hata yani Biblia nzima. Jinsi ya kuwa viongozi wa kitaua. Lakini lazima tuweke nyumba zetu kwa mpango. Alama ni ni badilisha jinsi ambavyo tunaoaza. We have to remember that marriage is not just a privilege. Ah sio na kwamba ndio ndoa ni kile ni kama tu heshima kwa ndio mabatiwa. But it is a God-given assignment. Lakini hii ni jukumu ambalo tumepewa na Mungu. It is better to stay single. Ni vizuri hata unataka kufadhali ubaki ukiwa peke yako. Then to fail at this assignment. Ama kama kama uko kwa mtu Badala kuhi katika hii jukumu na waanguke mtihani. Naona kama umeoleka. You're supposed to be taking care of your natural face. Ah, ukisha wale ukisha wao unapaswa uanze kushughulikia mama ambaye anaonekana sasa. As well as your spiritual. Na pia sasa unaweza kujiongezea majukumu ya mambo ya asili na mambo ya baada ya kiroho pia. Because if you ignore the natural. Ah, bado ukipuuza haya ya asili You are opening a doorway for the enemy to attack you. Pia una unafungua mlango ili adui akushambulie. From your own home. Ndoka ndoka kwa kwa. Your own personal altars. Kwa katika madhabahu yako tu kabisa nyumbani. Own personal sanctuary. Katika hekalu lako la nyumbani. So we need to take away the devils. Jesus. Lazima tutoe hiyo mbinu ya shetani. We're going to fill in those traps. Alafu ile ile mitego ambayo shetani ameweka tuzibe. By loving it for an end. Ili tuanze kutafuta nafasi ya kupenda na kwa mwaka kwa chia ndani ya watu wetu. Tuongeza. Your mates. See, I'm a youth pastor Charles for example myself. Ah, nana nasema huyu mtume This beautiful bride pastor Lucy. Ah, mke wake ambaye ni pastor Lucy, mtume wake Lucy. No matter who is around Ajalishe ni nani hapo karibu? No matter how excited she is to see you. Aima ajalishe anapoona na atabasabu sana. She want to greet her husband first. Ah lazima akao mkubwa lazima asalamie mume wake kwanza. She's going to look at him with those eyes like. Bila kana anamtazama anamtazama ndio mume wake kila wakati. Look what God gave me. Angalia mungu alipo kitu. Ukoe baada kama mbaya umetulia na ngoja. Ukoe kama sasa ni na kwa pole pole ni kipanuka. Wakati na karibu ya. Sasa wale ni kwa na ngoja salamu. If you want to do ministry. Akamu na kufanya uduma. If you want to lead others. Ukitaka kuongoza wengine, lazima ufanye nyumbani kwanza. How can we say we love you? Tunaweza kusema kwamba kwa tunawapenda. As married women. Kama wao wasita kwa wakati ambao tunaoleka. God sent us here to you. Mungu aliwatuma hapa kwa ajili yenu. And let our homes a mess. If we left our homes a mess. And this way. Kama kama mwaje mambo mabaya na vipika. See? Hadi Mungu aweze kuwatuma hapa. Our husbands, our husbands can send us a 